Welcome to the spectacular secret office Halloween party. Come on in, if you dare. I submit this 
story for the approval of the Midnight Society. I call this scary story, scary stories and other scary stories. Client. 
Yeah, if you got to go with one of those gateways, they don't even have some No, SMTP, the mail server? What, email? Yeah, sorry, email. Oh, sweetie, just check the phone line. What? Uh, in order to get on the information super expressway, you need a, a working phone line to connect to what we call a modem. It was Tuesday. It was definitely Tuesday. All right, so um, what that means, sweetie, is you can't be going on the telephone and hammering with your girlfriends while you got work. All right, so uh, where's the phone jack on one of these objects? Uh, we use Wi-Fi to get on the internet, and if you call me sweetie one more time, so help me God, I better remove one of your testicles. <laughs> <laughs> well, hon, uh, uh, you typically get the, uh, the, the, the hi fi, that gets you your, your WJ, or not the WW. So why don't you uh, why don't you try reinstalling AOL? <laughs> I 
again, this time, uh, think about the paper who, uh, who flushed out paper toweling and sanitary napkins in the women's restrooms. <coughs> what is the measure of a man? How much he leaves behind, or how little he leaves behind? I know about the women's bathroom. <laughs> they have our ways of knowing my nature. Back of Fräulein, And uh, next, you and you come forward and look deep into each other's sores, and as if recollect, recollecting the name of an old friend that arrives with the noontime bus, metro bus upon written other words in the telephone. Okay, hold on, Fritz. Uh, I'm sorry, Herr Director. Uh, are we supposed to look into each other's souls while we're looking at this? I am the only director here. I will not remind you again. Begin. I love you like a styrofoam cup. I want you to know all of my receptacles. <laughs> I will wait for you forever. Crush me. Cut me. Burn me. <laughs> You lost me. I will blow the water from you. <laughs> <laughs> Again, this time you are in the lonely sailors with your voice. I will blow the water from you. Nein, the more stern, less calm. Madame of Magic. The 
heiress to the mysteries of Morgan the Fay, Madame Levatsky, and Marie Laveau. Ladies and interviewee, allow me to present the amazing, the enigmatic, the great Glinda!
called the, the turn. turn. We know we are also magicians. Yes, the turn, in which the magician takes that ordinary object and makes it do something extraordinary, like disappear! Ha! Now the third and hottest part of any magic trick is called revolution. You see, it's not quite enough to make something disappear. No, the hottest part is making it reappear! Guys! Oh, Falcon 
is amazingly strong and fast. Fly, Rusty! Fly! Fly! And I also wanted to discuss adding another performance time to the jumps on Saturday. We knights have been working on something new. I have two words for you. Crocodile and machete. Oh, <laughs> I demand that we all dance. Court jester, you may begin. Uh, you see, Jim, she usually doesn't commence dancing until the fourth hour of the meeting, so you better speed things up or it's going to get up there. What's that? Yeah, I've been uh, laying out your tarot cards, and well, the Joker hits keep coming up, but you should watch where you're going. The Joker, that is no good. I don't know if you're familiar. All right, so I didn't mean any offense by it. At least it wasn't the Hank man, though. Well, Brandon. Okay, okay. Uh, before we take a brief break, Your Majesty, I wanted to talk to you about this year's water entertainment. Oh, indeed. As you must have seen from my royal decree, we're going to recreate the defeat of the Spanish Armada in the back pond. <laughs> okay, um, actually, I've already promised the, uh, the pond to the Blue Mermaid, so there isn't going to be room for you both. Impossible! Throw him in the tower! We don't have a tower. Lock him in the royal carriage! The Crown Victoria? Yes. Last, courage day. Just do away with it. Wait! Your Majesty! I will defend your honor! We will joust for it! If I win, the privateers take the bond! But I'm not going to put on my jousting shirt this to get into. Oh, oh, yes, does please me. I demand that we all lift our flags of me and toast one another. Now, joust! Okay, no, no, no. We're all grown ups here, okay? We're not going to joust or fight each other. We're just not going to do that, all right? Oh, Jim, it's the only way. It's the only way we know how. <laughs> okay, fuck! I, Jim, of the House of Friedenberg, do challenge you for rulership of the Tri-County Renaissance Festival. That was pathetic. Have you ever uh, seen Game of Thrones? I don't have cable. <laughs> <laughs> See you too. 
later. Yeah, hey! Jesus Christ. It's just a smudge. Douche. <laughs> Motherfucker! Who stole my Kleenex box? It's called CPR. Hey, 
Remember that one time he fought a shark? Uh, we did talk about that, Mark. Uh, we feel like that's going to be a little bit unbelievable for our readers. So <laughs> <laughs> but he did. He fought a shark. Mark Blaine. He won. It's on the short list. Okay, what if, what if he died from something, I don't know, other than natural causes? Ooh, I like where this is going. Hey, hey, what if the Romans did? I hate those guys. <laughs> okay, okay. What if he was crucified, okay? But go with me here. For his religious beliefs. Now that's a hook. The Romans could totally do that. That's exactly the kind of stuff they do. I hate those fuckers. <laughs> <laughs> this is blasphemy here. We don't need to be making up stories about Jesus. <laughs> he was a great carpenter with a great beard, and that's it. <laughs> and if he was alive to see this, he would be ashamed. If he was alive to see this. <laughs> Yeah. 
That was the year that Petty Smith from HR died in a horrific elevator accident. I still blame myself for that. Wait a second. You! You're, you died! Good job. I'm, so, I'm sorry. I don't blame you. I was foolishly dressed as the victim of an elevator tragedy. <laughs>
it's a free for all, Richard. Everyone has become cutthroat. That doesn't make any sense. Stan is but a mere janitor. For now. What is what is that? What's that sound? That's the CEO of Johnson Holdings. Choking on a candy apple. Alone. What shall I put in the memo for your obituary? No. Oh. Well, go! I can change! I can change! You're alive! Golly gee, Richard, you're alive after all! Sure, you okay? I heard yelling. You there, boy! What day is it? Uh, it's Halloween, sir. Brilliant! I haven't missed it then. HR has given me another chance. Sir, are you okay? You boy! <laughs> Do you know the Costco down the street? You mean the one with the caskets as big as me? <laughs> a brilliant boy, a wonderful boy! Take the company car, go down there, buy all the candy and decorations that they have. We of Johnson Holdings are going to have the most spectacular Halloween party this company has ever seen. Great. Can we talk about this old boy thing? On your way, boy! We must be preparing! Happy Halloween, everyone! <laughs> I demand 
music. Right now! Oh.